A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it was with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day. And through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of his own accord, the land yields its fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. After the Second World War uh, in Japan, of course, Japan lost, and a lot of the landscape, a lot of the area uh, where the war took place was bombarded, and there were fires, and so uh, after the war and after things kind of settled down, they needed to reforest or repopulate the forests. Um, the, the saying or the story goes that you know they have a lot of mountains uh, in Japan, and because of the rains, when the rains would come, there were a lot of landslides because there were no trees left. So they planted cedar trees. Cedar trees, when they're planted, are very small. Uh, but when they grow, and it takes them a long time to grow, but when they grow, they grow to be these maj majestic, beautiful, very tall, 150 feet or higher um, trees, they're, they're evergreen trees, and um, you see these forests, these beautiful forests of cedar trees, just even on the outskirts of Tokyo going out into the country, and, and if you happen to be driving by them when, when there's a wind, they all kind of blow you know, together, and, and, and it's a very beautiful, magical thing, but it, it took them a long time to grow these trees or to get the, the forest repopulated. Ezekiel talks or tells us today about the cedar tree that the Lord picks. He picks the top shoot, just a little piece on the top of the cedar tree. And he plants it on top of a mountain, which is not the best place to grow anything. You know, there's, there's not a lot of soil, uh, and there's not a lot of nutrients in the soil, but it takes root. The roots of the cedar tree go very, very deep into the ground to the point where it becomes this huge, majestic tree even though you would not think that it would become anything special. So it goes with our faith, the faith that, that God has given us. And I'm willing to bet that 95% of us think that we don't have a very strong faith or a very deep faith. But Jesus is telling us, he's telling us today in the parable of the, of the mustard seed, all you need is just a little grain and let God take the rest of it. The farmer doesn't really know, even if he studies agriculture or she learns all about how things grow day after day after day with the rain and the fertilizer and stuff, what's going to come out of his crops. And nobody knows for sure if the farmer is going to have a good yield or a fair yield or a bad yield, who knows how many locusts are going to come, if it's going to be a drought. The farmer doesn't really know that. He has to kind of trust trust in the Lord, but good mustard seeds, which are very, very, very small, grow into great bushes, bushes where the birds can live and build nests, and, and your faith is the same way. You don't really know. Of course, you need to take care of it yourself, just like, like the farmer needs to fertilize and make sure that his, his crops are getting enough water and, and whatever. 
But there's something mysterious about it. And that's the hand of God. The hand of God, which makes those cedars grow into huge, majestic-looking trees, which saves the environment, which saves the mountaintops. That little bit, little bitty mustard seed, which becomes so huge in a bush. St. St. Paul tells us in the second reading, which is a great, a great, one of the best, I think, verses uh, in the Bible. We walk by faith, not by sight. We try too much to put everything on ourselves. We see what we want to do. We see the way things are going. We, we take control of our lives. We do this, and it's about we and we and we. we, when we when we sin, we think we can overcome it by ourselves. We need to realize that it's God working together with us. In you, Lord, we live and we move and we have our being. We don't walk by what we see. We walk by the faith, as small as it is, that God has given us.